Hello everyone, I am so so happy that you're here today. Welcome to another spring and decorate here in my home. I've almost got my kitchen completely decorated for spring. I have one more area to add some Easter and spring touches to and that's my open shelving here in the kitchen. Now my kitchen is a little uh, messy today so we're going to tidy up for a second before we get to decorating. Okay, let's get this morning started. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. Okay, I've got a lot of candle here in the kitchen to kind of set the mood, get me going, make a great cup of coffee, open up my blinds, and then we'll start tidying up the kitchen. Okay, as you can see, I'm still in my white fluffy robe this morning. I get up pretty early between 4 and 5. Um, and my favorite thing to do when I get up in the mornings is get my coffee, open the blinds, sit down, and watch a couple of my friends on YouTube. Now, it's a little later in the day on this morning because I'm waiting for the internet people to come and fix our internet. And if you'll notice today, I'm watching my friend Michelle. It's Michelle with Mom to Mom. She has got her cleaning chores and systems down to a pat. I love it that she has all these cleaning gadgets in her home and she kind of shows you how she uses them. She does the zone cleaning and she's got that down to an art. So go over and check out Michelle's channel and let her know that I sent you. Okay, so we're going to tidy up this kitchen really quickly as I drink my coffee along the way. This is actually a week morning. Um, the internet company was going to come and fix my internet. And of course, they give you this huge time between 8 and 10 where they're going to come. And then once they get here, you can't leave while they're here. So this is actually a weekday. I've just got some casual clothes on. I'm going to tidy up and do a little filming before I go into work. Normally, I don't do any chores in the morning times before I go to work. I don't even really make my bed. I know that's going to surprise a lot of you guys, but I just usually get up um, pretty early, drink my coffee, like I said, relax, watch some YouTube channels and catch up on my girlfriend's channels and then get ready for work and go on into work. So most of my cleaning's done on the weekend. However, when I do um, go to decorate something, I really like the area to be clean. So since I'm going to be decorating these shelves real quickly before I go to work, um, I am going to tidy up the kitchen. Um, I've said before that I try to keep a home for everything in my house, so it's really easy for me to tidy up. So honestly, it probably took me about 20 minutes to get the, the kitchen tidied up and wiped the countertops wiped down, and then probably a little longer though to decorate the, the open shelving that I'm going to show you guys today. But anyway, it was a fun morning. I got a lot of Done. I got a lot done before I went into work. So let's get everything put back in its home, put away, wipe down the countertops. I got a few dishes to do in the sink, and then we'll get to the fun stuff decorating.
Okay, now that I've drank my coffee, I've opened the kitchen window. It's about 60 degrees today, and it is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to tackle these dishes. Now, normally I would have hand washed all of these dishes, but I did have some leftover from last night's supper that I did not run the dishwasher because it just wasn't full enough. So I'll take most of these dishes, put them in the dishwasher, get the dishwasher going. And except for my caraway um, pans, I never put those in the washing machine. Well, I'll take that back. Every now and then I'll put those did I say washing machine? Dishwasher. Every now and then I'll put those in the dishwasher when I get really lazy, but I try very hard not to put those in the dishwasher and to hand wash those all the time. And guys, I've had these, I think for almost a year now. I think I got these last spring and they held up so, so well. If you follow the instructions on them by not using real high heat, uh, don't put them in water when they're really hot. Um, you know, hand wash them instead of putting them in the dishwasher. They're really going to last you, and I'm so, so happy with these caraway uh, pots. I know they're kind of expensive, but I think it's well worth it to get a good one where nothing's going to, like, flake off. The coating's not going to start coming off, um, and I've just been so, so happy with these um, pots and pans that caraway gifted me, like I said, about a year ago. And also, I don't watch the, spat the spatulas that I bought to go with these pans. They're silicone and wooden, and um, I do not put those in the dishwasher at all. I'm not even even sure that you're supposed to put wooden spoons in the dishwasher however um these silicone ones that i got for my pots and pans i also hand wash those so you'll see me put most of these dishes in the dishwasher and the rest of them we're going to hand wash And as I'm putting everything away under the kitchen sink, I'm just reminded that I so need to do some organizing here in the kitchen. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you would like to see me maybe organize my kitchen underneath the sink and several of my cabinets. I really need to get in there and kind of declutter, organize, get some things together. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comment section. I know a lot of you are here for decorating. You're here for decorating and cleaning, some just for cleaning. So if that is a video that you'd like to see, I think I've been mentioning that for about I don't know about a month or so now um, since the new year that I really need to declutter some things in my kitchen so like I said let me know in the comment section if that's something that you'd be interested in and if you happen to be new today I would love it if you would take a second and introduce yourself in the comment section before you left today maybe even hit that subscribe button if you're liking this content so far but oh my goodness friends I don't know if you've noticed but this channel or our channel I should say has just grown so so much over the past couple of months um, all of my videos are hitting like almost double digits and I don't know what's happening but you guys are just supporting me so so well so I know I have a lot of new friends here and um, so I would love to hear from you in the comment section I know a lot of you are what we call like silent watchers y'all never make a comment but y'all do watch and hit that thumbs up button don't feel bad if you never comment I appreciate you however let's do a little fun thing if you happen to be a silent watcher and you don't really ever comment on my channels because uh, you don't know what to say or you feel odd about it or you just don't want to, I would love it if you would leave some type of heart emoji uh, in the comment section just so I can kind of see how many are watching me that I never really get to talk to. Um, okay, guys, so I just wanted to throw that out there. If you're new, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section, and I appreciate you guys that come back every Sunday and watch my videos. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. I have so many of you guys, and I appreciate you greatly. I believe my next giveaway friends is going to be when I hit 8,000 subscribers I think when this video comes out I've got like maybe 7,300 so we're almost there this channel is growing so so well and God is truly blessing this channel and having favor over me and I'm just so 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 thankful um, I thoroughly enjoy this channel and look forward to it every week um, so anyway I think that'll be my next giveaway friends when I hit 8,000 so let me know also in the comment section I know I'm adding a, I'm asking a lot of questions this week but let me know if you want another Amazon card this time or maybe a Target card or what or maybe a goodie basket of some of my favorite things let me know in the comment section what you would love for me to give away when we hit our 8,000 subscribers <music>
Okay, now that the kitchen is tidy, the countertops are wiped off, I'll do the bar after I get through decorating the open shelving, I'll do that last. I've dried and put up the dishes. I'm going to show you a few after shots of this really neat and tidy kitchen, and then we'll start working on our open shelving. I'm going to show you guys in just a second this tray that I'm going to pull away. Um, that is like Derek's area. He keeps his hats there, his stuff from work, his you know keys and loose change and all that that's his little area so it's not the prettiest to look at but um, it definitely is functional for our family there are some channels that I watch and everything is just perfectly put in place and I'm like hmm I wonder where all their extra stuff goes <laughs> but anyway so this is Derek's tray here I really don't mess with it we do keep our bread here we don't eat a lot of bread but when we do have bread this is where it stays our bills stay there you know just things like that our voter registration cards just things we need to quickly get so here guys I'm just going to show you some of the pieces I'm going to be using today I think the only thing new here is a little tray that I'm going to show y'all and some sweet little glassware that I got from Target but everything else I already had you guys know I'm trying to decorate on a budget this year so pretty much everything you're gonna to see today that I'm gonna decorate with I already had I'm gonna show you a couple pictures that I'm gonna to try to use with some florals and I love using lamb's ear to decorate with so I have a couple of wreaths I'm gonna to try to use also Okay, I like starting out on this top shelf just because I really like putting something big over here in this corner. So we're gonna start with my favorite green vase there, or no, not a vase, what is that? I'm gonna start off with my favorite green pitcher. So that's what that would look like over there in that corner, which I love the neutral. I do have a lot of neutral going on in the kitchen. So there's what that looks like. And then let me show you what it would look like if I tried my white pitcher with the lavender so let's look at that real fast and of course that is beautiful i love that look of that white pitcher against that lavender so gorgeous however i just don't know if that purple is going to go well in my kitchen this year so i think i'm going to try this guys with the green pitcher let me know in the comment section what you think okay i'm just going to add this pretty little beaded wooden riser this came from the target the target this came from the target uh, section it's five dollars so just to kind of add some height up here, and I wanted to add some lamb's ear, so just to kind of give a little definition up here, uh, a little bit of greenery, I'm gonna sit that on top of there. And then one of my favorite little rabbits that I also got from Target, it was a little expensive, it was $20, but oh my goodness, it is gonna be such a statement here on the top of this shelf. Okay, so here's an after shot of this little vase up here with the little flowers and the little bunny rabbit. I love the way the lambs here kind of plays off of each other and all the wood tones that are going on up here. I think it's just adorable. So let me add maybe one more thing right here to kind of complete this top shelf. Let's see what I have. I have this adorable little egg basket with some of these little fake Easter eggs from last year. So I think I may fill up this little basket with all these little Easter eggs and see what that looks like on my top shelf. Okay, let's see here. Let's maybe scoot this over, scoot this back a little. Scoot that over some. Okay, let's see if it'll fit right here. This came from an antique store at a local shop here in town and I absolutely love it. Okay, let's see if we can kind of sneak that in right there. And maybe for just a, a little bit more here, maybe some softness and some more fun to go along with these beads that are here. Let me see what this is going to look like, just kind of draped. Um, I feel like it's kind of empty over here, so let me just kind of drape these like that and see what that looks like. You can still see my eggs, but there. Okay guys, so this should be my top shelf completed. I just love, like I said, all of the wood going on here, the wood tones. I, got, I think it's got just enough greenery. I love the lamb's ear. And this little egg basket may be my favorite. So sweet.
Okay, so here's the look from the floor. I think it is so, so pretty. I'm loving that little Easter bunny up there. Well worth the money I paid for it. So now let's work on the bottom shelf. Okay, I'm gonna start off by adding this cute little platter with the orange carrots. We'll start off down there. I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do here, but we're gonna start. I know something on this back wall here, so we'll start with that. Okay, and since I like to add my big pieces first, this is my biggest piece, so we'll set this here. Oh, I just love that. But you know, the only thing about this is that you can't really see the little bunny uh, stuff, the little bunny picture from down below. So I don't know, maybe this is not the best spot to put this little tray. I do love it though. Um, Hmm, let me think what we're gonna do with that because I just don't know if that's gonna look well sitting there because like I said, you can't really see the bunnies that are on the plates. Okay, so here's a look from the floor. To me, it just kind of defeats the purpose of having that cute little tray there. Um, I won't be using it until Easter time. I'll set it on the bar, maybe use it for some snacks or something, but let me take this and see if I can set it over here on the hutch. Maybe we can rearrange some things on the hutch. Okay guys, since the little plates, you can't really see them on the top shelf there, my open shelving, let's move them over here. Maybe I can switch out some of this decor and put the plates here and maybe move this little section, or I'm not real sure, let's play around with it and see if we can move the plates over here to the hatch. That might be a little cuter and you can of course see them a little better. So let's try that real fast. Okay, let's see, let's start on this side. Maybe we'll move this stuff and see what the bunny tray looks like right there. Okay, let's see how this is gonna look here. Oh my goodness, I love this bunny tray. It is so, so sweet, so sweet. Okay, so what do you think about that, guys? I don't know, I think my, these items are just not gonna get, this might can stay, but I think this probably needs to go, and this probably needs to go. So maybe we can move these, maybe we can move these items over to the open shelves, and let's play around with it just a little bit more. Okay, now I know y'all like it when I show you kind of me playing around with an area. So let's play around with this just for a second. I know I wanna leave this just very plain. I don't wanna add anything to this nail. I'm gonna leave it just like that so you can see those gorgeous plates. But let's play around with this area just a little bit and see what we can come up with. And I think I've almost convinced myself also not to put anything back there. I normally would put something there, but I love this little wood there. So just to kind of leave it plain, I'm not gonna add anything in the back. But I do feel like something needs to go here, either a dish towel or some greenery. I really don't want to fill it up with any greenery because there's not much room here. So let's just play with a few things and see what we can come up with. Okay, let's try. This is this mom towel that I got from Target. I just love the floral on it and I love the colors in it. So let's try this out, see how that will go. You guys know I love using a dish towel any area that I can. So maybe let's put that there. Maybe let's put maybe some Easter bunnies. Okay, let's see. I've got some little carrots I could use. How would that look? I've got some little carrots. Not sure. If you could see those, that would be cute inside there, huh? But can't really see them. So there's the look with maybe a couple of carrots. Okay, now let's try some of these sweet little wooden bunnies that I have. Let's see here. Okay, kind of move them around some. Hmm, I don't know. What do you think about that? Okay, huh, let me scoot this down some. Okay, that's not bad. Kind of blends together. I think it all kind of works well together. So there's one look, guys. Let me see if I can put maybe um, something inside there to make these carrots stand up. I don't know. What do you think about that? We'll try it and see real fast. Okay, I'm just gonna take a plain Target bag and stick it in there. Now let's see, can I just kind of lay those right there? What do you think about that? Huh, okay, so what do you think about that?
Okay, I like that look. Let's try one more look. Let's try just using like a wreath underneath that picture and maybe leaving those um, carrots inside there. Let's try that real fast. Okay, let's try one more look. And honestly, guys, I was not prepared to decorate or move anything on this hutch, but because of this little um, tray not looking so well on my open shelving, here we go, adding some more touches to my hutch. So let's try one more thing. All right, this is one of my favorite, favorite wreaths. It is so, so beautiful. And honestly, guys, I can't even remember where I got this from. I hate that because I like telling you guys where I got things from, but I've had it for so long now, most likely Hobby Lobby, but I just love the flowers on this. Great spring wreath. Okay, so let's see how that will sit there and maybe we can add this picture back in there like that and leave the carrots in there. Oh, I like that too. Oh my goodness, such decisions. What do you guys think about that? I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda let this sit here for just a little bit. Let me finish the open shelving and then let me come back to this area and maybe see what I don't use on that open shelving. And uh, if I don't use those little rabbits and that little mom tail, we may change it out. Let me just leave it here just for a little bit and see if it's gonna grow on me. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section which little vignette you liked better. Okay, now that we've got the top shelf done and we carried everything over to the hutch, let's work on this second shelf real fast. Okay, I really want to use these two new glasses, so let's just kind of put these over here in the corner, like that. So, so gorgeous. Okay, then I want to use my little wood rabbits, so we'll kind of fill in the hole right there with these little sweet little rabbits. These came from Target last year, I believe. Okay, so I think that's going to complete that little area. So here's this little area to the right. Okay, I end up, I, I'm, I'm gonna end up putting some greenery on this side over here instead of that corner where I normally do it just because I've got a lot going on in that corner there and I feel like some greenery here will just kind of offset that. So let's work on this left side of the shelf real fast. All right, so I'm gonna use this little Magnolia table book as my little tray to create my little vignette on. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to use another one of these mom towels with that gorgeous little floral on there, or I also have this one with the sage green in it that I've had for a few years. I think I just might like this one better. So let me just start with this one. Okay, now that we have the base to our little vignette set, I'm gonna add this sweet little fern. It goes well with the fern that's in the stems up there in that vase. Just very simple. I'm gonna try to use a little white to play off of that tray there. So we'll start there. Then I'm gonna put those carrots that were on the hutch right here. I just love these little carrots. So I wanna use three of them. There. Okay, and then let's fill in the area back there with a sweet little white bunny. And this is another bunny that came from Target last year. I think he was $5. So let's place him right there. Kind of turn him sideways a little bit. There. Yes, I do love that. What do you think? Okay, so there's that look. Hmm, I'm thinking I might need to add something tall in that corner after all. So let me scoot down that decor and see if I can find another little rabbit to go in that corner real fast. Okay, let's try him out. He's one of my favorites. I got this at 
I'm pretty sure at Target about two years ago. Isn't he so sweet? So let's try him real fast in this corner. Okay, I think that way kind of fills up that area a little better and you can still see him from the floor. Let's put him right there. Let's see, should I double these up? Yeah, what does that look like? Okay. And then let's get these back in place. Maybe scoot this over some. Okay, how's that looking? Okay, yes, I think he kind of filled up that area just a little bit more. And of course, I have to rearrange this shelf just one more time, just to make sure I've got it just right. Okay, so all I did here is take away that wicker rabbit. I love that little thing. However, I just did not like the way it set. Its ears kind of were behind its body, so it would not go in that corner very well. Um, so I just wasn't liking that very much. So I just moved everything over and took another little porcelain rabbit and just kind of set it beside the big rabbit. And I think I like that a little bit better. So let me know in the comment section if you'd have went with the uh, wicker rabbit or if you liked the little white porcelain rabbit better. And as you can see, I did not add a lot of color here. I tried this year for Easter to go very neutral. And that's why I didn't want to start with the lavender here on the shelf. Because I really didn't add a lot of color to my Easter decor this year. I kept it very neutral and very simple. I know a lot of you that love to do the uh, bright colors for Easter are like, mm, Robin, this is not my style. And that's okay. I just wanted to show you my style this year for Easter. It was very subtle and more of the pastel colors. All right, friends, if you're still here at the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching it all the way to the end. That greatly helps my video out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you liked my content today. If you happen to be new, please introduce yourself to me in the comment section. And friends, I'll see you next week. Bye.